Um, the only way a prospective customer gains value is if they buy. Okay, remember that. And many prospects need help making their buying decision. They need someone to ask them to buy, not just a salesperson. When a salesperson fails to ask, both the prospect and salesperson lose. Closing is what drives the economies of every country on the planet. Please don't misunderstand me. Closing is not tricking, forcing, deceiving, or pressuring a prospect to take delivery. Closing is helping the customer pick out the right product and providing both the information and motivation for the customer to make a buying decision. Cassandra, did you know you're a motivational speaker? You are. Brad, Charles, you're motivational speakers. Travell, Rhett, you're motivational speakers. Make no mistake about that. Good sales managers are terrific motivational speakers because you're not you're motivating those that need to be motivated or those that need to be motivating. Um, <clears throat> I get lots of uh, negative comments on my videos because people say I'm pressuring people. I don't pressure people, uh, but I am extremely persistent. I was in a uh, Subaru store and I took a turn. It was an older couple, so you know they were old if, I, mm. if I'm calling them an older couple. <laughs> Um, and um, I'm, I'm using every tactic and strategy I know to get them to say yes. They're, they're shopping uh, in Outback against a uh, Kia Sorento, and there's some big mega uh, rebate on the, on the Kia, and there's no rebates on the, out, on the Outback. Are they trading a Subaru? Uh, no, they're not trading a Subaru. So I, I can't get them to say yes, and finally the guy goes, hey, you know, I, I feel like you're, you're pressuring me. I said, well, sir, I'm not pressuring you. Uh, I said, don't mistake my enthusiasm and my deep-seated belief that this is the best thing for you and your wife. I said, Cindy's done a great job, the sales lady. I mean, she helped you pick out a vehicle that's right for you. It, it met every spec you said it had to meet, um, and it's the right price. We've discounted it deeply. I said, if you don't say yes to this, I feel that you're making a mistake but I'm not pressuring you. However, I said, if you don't say yes pretty soon, I am going to start pressuring you. <laughs> you know, with a smile, his wife goes, you better say yes. <laughs> okay, but, but uh, the best salespeople I know truly believe that what they've done for the customer is the right thing. I mean, Charles, when someone leaves here without buying a car from you, they're gonna buy a car somewhere else, aren't they? Yes. Somebody else gonna take as good a care of them as you would? No. But you, why isn't he saying no? I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't even, yeah, no. So you, you were trying to figure out what to say next. Yeah. You weren't listening to <laughs> us. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I did a, a talk for the uh, top uh, top 100 uh, Chrysler, it was probably Chrysler Plymouth Jeep Eagle salespeople um, in Las Vegas a number of years ago. And at the cocktail party, uh, one of the Chrysler people said, you need to meet this uh, young lady. She's only been in the business two years. She's uh, averaging 40 units a month. So I said, well, sure. So I sat down with her. And um, I said, well, what's your secret? She goes, well, I just, uh, I, just, I just don't lie. I said, well, I understand that integrity is really part, part of, you know, an integral part of what we do, but how do you do it? She goes, well, you know, you don't get it. I said, what do you mean I don't get it? Um, she goes, I don't, I mean, I let the customer know exactly the way things are. And I said, well, and how are things? She said, if they don't buy from me, nobody else in San Diego is going to take as good a care of them as I would. If they don't buy from my dealership, no other dealer in San Diego is going to take care of them the same way my dealer will. If they don't buy my product, and this is like a Dodge, a Plymouth, or a Chrysler, or a Jeep, mm -hmm. but she said, they're not going to get as good a, 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 they're not going to be as happy with any other product they could find anywhere else in San Diego. I mean, she's like, just, I mean, she's just you know, practically yelling this stuff at me. Did she believe in herself? Yeah. Did she believe in her dealer? Her product? Yeah. You know what? You think that bled through in every part of the presentation she made? See, I can't teach that. That's a, that's a trait right there. That's a, um, a passion. That's a belief. I can encourage it, but I can't teach it. I can teach skills, but I can't teach that. That's what you need. So, Charles, let me ask that question again. Is anybody else in this market going to take any better care of the customer than you will after the sale? 
any other dealer going to take better care of the customer than uh, than your dealership will? Any better product out there? 